Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun winter read aloud with you of the story, The Snowy Day. The story, The Snowy Day, was written in 1962 by Ezra Jack Keats, and it tells the story of Peter and what he does on a very snowy day. If you're ready to hear the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. The Snowy Day. You can see on the title page, Jack. Uh, you can see the snowy day with the little boy Peter sliding down the hill in his snow suit. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. That's such a fun feeling to wake up and have everything covered with snow. It's so magical. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. So in big cities or places where they get a lot of snow, they have plows that push the snow into be these, big, these big piles, mostly to make paths so people can walk and so cars can drive. And so there's places where it looks like there's giant mountains of snow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. So you made different footprints. Some with his feet turned out. And some with his feet turned in and it looked different both ways. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. So he was dragging his feet to make tracks, and then he found something else, and he was dragging that too. Snow is so fun. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. So Peter found a stick, that's what he was dragging, and now he's using it to whack the trees and make all the snow fall down. I've done that before. You gotta be careful, because sometimes it's more snow than you think. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. So we can see that the snow did fall on Peter's head. And that one little eye right there tells me he did not like that very much. And then on the next page, we see him walking away from those trees. He did not like the snow plopping on his head very much at all. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So the big boys are having a snowball fight, and they've hit him, but he doesn't think he, he's ready to play quite yet. He's not big enough. So he made a smiling snowman, and he made angels. I'll give you a close-up on that snowman first. It's smiling, definitely. And he made angels. And the best thing about angels is that you can make millions of them. Because all you need to do is lay down and move your arms and legs. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. So much imagination. He's pretending to be a mountain climber and slid, woo, all the way down. Look how fun that looks. Have you slid down a hill of snow before? I have, it's amazing. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow, then he went into his warm house. So 
He felt like this snow was pretty amazing, so he was going to take it inside and save it for tomorrow. But what happens to snow in a warm house? You might not see that snowball again, Peter. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. So he's telling his mama about all the fun things he did during that day, and she's being a good mama, and she's making sure he doesn't sit around in wet socks so he doesn't get sick. And he thought and thought and thought about them. He thought about all of his adventures while he was taking his bath. I think about my adventures of, during the day, too, when I'm doing other things. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. So he looked for his snowball. We can see that his pocket is very wet. I wonder if he's noticed that his pocket is very wet. Probably not. He just feels sad and he goes to sleep dreaming about his wonderful adventures with snow. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. I don't know if that's a dream or a nightmare. You kind of want to keep that snow around a little longer. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere, and new snow was falling. So that was just a, a dream, a nightmare, because when he woke up, this, it was still snowing, and the snow was still on everything. And you can see how happy Peter is to see that there's still snow, and there's still more coming. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. So this time he's not going on an adventure by himself. He's called his friend from across the hall, and they're going to go on an adventure, a snow adventure together. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the story, The Snowy Day, please hit that like button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that subscribe button down there at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.